What is going on everybody? Welcome to your 17th iPhone development tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be covering a new topic auto rotation is going to be pretty sweet so go ahead and create a new project view based of course and go ahead and name this well go ahead and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name my rot2 and I'm going to save it just like that. Now the first thing we need to do is go ahead and in your classes whatever you named your class go to view controller dot m and we need to scroll down go ahead and delete this comment I hate that comment I don't know why alright so we see a bunch of commented out methods right here but what we are interested in this is in this last commented out method so go ahead and delete the comments from it and by the way the methods name is should auto rotate to interface orientation so pretty much this is the auto rotation method this is pretty much the method that says what orientations do you want do you want to be able to turn your iPhone sideways and still run your program do you want to be able to turn it upside down and still run your program I mean that's pretty weird if you do that in general you don't want to do that but anyways what you need to do is return yes for the orientations you support and no for the ones you don't so by default the interface orientation is only equal to um, orientation portrait this pretty much means just holding it straight up and down not landscape not tilting it to the left or right or anything so I mean this is only returning yes so it's pretty much only returning one orientation so if we turn our iPhone to the side of course our program will still run but everything will move around and cool like you know when you're browsing Safari on your iPhone or iPod when you tilt it it like shifts the landscape mode that's what we want to create a program like this so what we want to do is we want to pretty much support every orientation except upside down so go ahead and instead of it setting equal to this one go ahead and set it equal to all of them except and here's how you do this so if you wanted to go ahead and set it equal to every orientation all you need to put is return yes and that would return yes for every single orientation but now we want to set it equal to everyone except UI interface orientation. Move them like this. P portrait. And let's go ahead and press escape upside down. Right like that. And by the way, if you want to see all your autocompletes, just press escape and uh, it'll show them to you. So now what we got is UI interface and portrait upside down. So this interface, it says, this is pretty much saying, what interface orientations do you want to support? We want to support all of them except upside down. And I know it's a super long name, but that's pretty much what upside down means. So go ahead and build and build this and make sure you don't get any errors. And we succeeded. So now that's all the coding that we need to do. Pretty sweet, huh? So go ahead and expand resources and go hop into your interface builder by clicking viewcontroller.xib and now your interface builder is going to pop up and let me move everything around just like this and just like this too so now hold on a second alright got everything where I wanted it so now what we want to do is add some crap to the screen and actually rotate it and see what's going on so let's go ahead and add six buttons I'm gonna go ahead and add one right there one right there one close to the middle as you can doesn't need to be perfect and two at the bottom man this is looking good alright now once you got your six buttons just go ahead and double click each one and add one two three four five and anyone can guess what this one is six I should have did it seven throw you off but you know that would be way too confusing so now that we got this built I mean that's pretty much all we needed so go ahead file save and then in your um, Xcode go ahead and build and run so now we got this awesome program with six buttons that pops up so we're saying alright let me just move my how do you tilt this if you want to go ahead and simulate tilting it or turning it I guess you might be able to say uh, go up to your hardware and put rotate left rotate that's a better word so now you see our iPhone rotates left or our iPod what is this by the way this is, I guess it must be an iPhone if it has these bars but anyways moving on 
You see, now that we rotated it left, I mean, our buttons moved around, and that's what we wanted to do, right? But you see, let's see, one, two, three, four, where the heck did five and six go? So I mean, there's some issues that we gotta work out, and we do this in something called the size, or, well, it's just the attributes tab, and uh, that's what we're gonna be going over in the next tutorial. So now that we finally learned how to support um, pretty much any orientation we want, and we learn how to rotate our iPhone in the iPhone simulator we're able to start correcting these bugs so that's what we're going to be going over in the next tutorial guys it is super easy trust me no coding involved or anything so you definitely want to stick around for that because I mean you don't even gotta write code and follow along all you have to do is sit back grab some popcorn and watch the tutorial so I'm looking forward to teaching it to you guys so uh yeah I mean that's it I got nothing more to say why are you still watching the tutorial? So, uh, yeah, I, uh, we'll see you later. Oh, yeah, by the way, don't forget to subscribe.